While everyone else is testing out all the new updates in Fortnite, I already played with LEGO Fortnite three months ago, I will explore the new Chapter 5 map for the very first time and have a very close look by rebuilding it with clay. All of the map? Are you insane? Let me explain. Over the years I've been creating the Fortnite map partially, but never achieved to finish it. I started with Tilted Towers five years ago. <laughs> For each of the map pieces I needed around one week of work. Look at what we have accomplished. So instead of telling you I would create the whole Fortnite map, honestly nobody would say that. I'm creating the whole Fortnite map. I tell you that we are clay explorers and we will explore the new POIs together by recreating them with clay. And today we start by recreating rude reels in rich, resplendent details. Clay, clay. Honestly, it's been a while since I created a map and it was intimidating. But we start with this printout of the map and it happened to be the first POI which I ran into. Ruined Reels. Oh, this looks so beautiful. I fell in love with this spot and when you have seen the live stream, you know that I've been working on this spot. We have the ruins, the lake and some grass and woods and the river of course going to the left side with the island let's fix the blueprint onto a wooden plank the first task for all of us which are clay explorers is to get an idea of the di dimensions the height this is the highest mountain on the left side but also on the right side and the distance between these two um, is the same diameter as the island, but also this theater in the middle. So I start by cutting out all the tiny hills and recreate them with clay. So it's all about rocks now. We can still make it shorter later on. Let's hop into the game. Ah, oh, it's like an old theater. Before we get too fascinated and trapped inside the theater, let's focus on all of the mountains and hills. Just like I mold and shape this piece of clay into something beautiful, wouldn't it be great if we could shape our online presence? Thanks to our sponsor of today's video, CyberGhost VPN, we can. Imagine the internet as raw clay, vulnerable to exposure. But with CyberGhost VPN, we have the crafting tools to shape and sculpt our online experience to be safer and more personalized. This is achieved through data encryption, which acts like a protective glaze on our clay masterpiece. Thanks to CyberGhost VPN, you can access geo-restricted content from websites, YouTube included, social media networks, find better deals online, play games blocked in your region, protect your identity by keeping your data encrypted and even get blocked libraries of over 40 streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus and many more. But that's not all, CyberGhost VPN also allows us to shapeshift our virtual location, giving us access to new streaming options and content. And best of all, our browsing is anonymous, ensuring our privacy is protected with over 8,500 servers in 91 countries. CyberGhost VPN is like a global craft store, opening up new possibilities and inspirations for our online world. And with one subscription, up to seven devices can be protected, making it easy for friends and family to join on the crafting for just just two dollars and three cents a month, you can get started with CyberGhost VPN and shape your digital experience. And if you're not satisfied, there is a 45 day money back guarantee. Now with all the hills, we have a beautiful starting point to work from. Um, doing all the landscaping stuff, making the hills a little bit shorter but also figuring out where to put the lake and the roads. Okay, this is just the middle part of the whole map. Oh, the train. I want to see the train. It's the train. <clears throat> I get so easily distracted. 
we have added uh, the gray, dolphin gray for the hills and now we will switch over to a muddy color. I switched some ochre together with Sahara and we get the outline for the river but also the lake. The islands itself inside the lake have the same color and now that we have fixed points on the map I can just do the filling with old clay. I'm really confident that I got the topography right and I am starting to add a thin layer of this brown clay and getting the edge right of this beautiful map piece. At the beginning, at the beginning it was quite difficult to figure out which parts of ruined reels should be in and which are out. I ended up using such a small scale and we have three areas divided by the street I haven't collected a weapon yet. <laughs> Let's use the street and also the bridges as our anchor point to figure out which area should be even and is not affected by the mountains around. So I'm really pushing it right into the clay, the street. And this will be the bridge on top of the map. And this on the left side, the railway bridge. And then we can start shaping all the um, river area and right next to the huge bridge. So this will take some time. <laughs> um, today is the last day of the old year. 2023. Not really sure what this year brought for you. Um, for me it had some mixed feelings but I'm really looking forward to go into a new year and it starts with a journey. I will be in South America, um, will be in Peru in the next two weeks. Really really excited about mm, that. So beautiful. Honestly, I was planning <laughs> on releasing this video last week, but Christmas happened and I really enjoyed taking the time off, uh, celebrated with the family, got some awesome presents from Crystal, um, some collectibles, a Chewbacca figurine and also some Game of Thrones figurines. Yeah. <laughs> This is the outline for the lake and we start adding the grass. We're really excited about this because this working step changes the whole appearance. Okay, we are on a good way. Uh, we are making some progress here and I'm double checking with the game and the replay mode all the time. Ha. There is still some grass missing. We have the island on the right side and there is some sand included. So after we now finished the grass, I am mixing this sandy color. It's a little bit of yellow um, also included there. And then we can form the coast. And it looks so beautiful right now. A beautiful miniature where we will dive into. <laughs> we have some different vegetation on the left side. Some darker green and just adding some rocks. And then we can continue and go over to the lake. We have an opening for the river, which I totally forgot. <laughs> Well, how is the water flowing in if there isn't a river? Now solved. And we have some paths and some streets, some muddy roads like this one. And with the imprint, ah, oh, this is so tiny. We can totally create the illusion of some... Okay. 
second kill with the axe. Okay, maybe I should collect some weapons. Someone would say I'm a total noob, but at least I know how to defend myself. <laughs> Let's now work on the street with a very extra thin layer of grey clay. Uh, because everything should be made out of clay in this miniature in ruined reels. <laughs> yeah, I've mentioned before that I started karate a few months ago. I'm really into it, enjoying this a lot. And um, there is an upcoming, um, how, how to call it, when, when you achieve the next belt, um, a test. Not really sure. So next um, will be orange for me. Uh, and I'm so excited. Back to the map. This is some trees. We have three different types. We have the widow trees. Uh, I talked about that a lot during the live stream. I also showed you how I created them. I didn't really like the shape. I remembered that I used some imprints on the Link, Link's Awakening map. And now I'm playing around with different materials. Yeah, maybe this is too tiny. Hmm. What about this one? Looks awesome. You have all these tiny bubbles and bells, which looks exactly like the widow trees inside the game. So I'm... Well, we are ending up using this ball um, and doing the beautiful imprints. And now tree mass production. After we have finished the widow trees, these are some fruit trees. Well, I have no idea. I'm not really into the <laughs> tree science. Last but not least, we have these pine trees uh, with this very characteristic shape. Now we can put it into the oven. I'm killing everyone with a spatula. What? Very unique for this map POI is, well, the bridges. We have three bridges on the right side. You see the ones for the road. And now let's focus on the railway. I would love to see a train in the future moving over my clay maps. Well, who knows? I think... The height should be around one centimeter for this bridge. And the next working step, finally, the ruins, ruined reels. I'm using the blueprint again and putting piece by piece, building by building onto the map so that I have a chance in reshaping and making tiny adjustments to the landscape getting them all to the right height. We have the theater with the tiny stairs in the middle. And we also have some really beautiful details there. Some more stairs. And also some statues, some columns. Some of them also lying on the ground. Yeah, so I'm curious to hear about your plans for the new year. Um, yeah, maybe you can leave them down in the comments. Also wishing everyone an amazing start to the new year. Some trunk, trunk mass production for the trees. I'm drilling a tiny hole into the widow trees, already oven hardened. Let's place the very first tree. We will now create some more buildings and also adding the roof. Some of them are broken. So I'm not really afraid of destroying some of the buildings. But look at that. It looks so beautiful. Oh, there was a firework right next to me. Not really sure if you could hear it through the mic. 
awesome detail here. Whoops. <laughs> I think I destroyed it a little. Um, but it just fits so perfectly onto the map. Again, we have some columns and tiles, broken ones on the floor. And another beautiful broken building from an ancient culture. And after adding all the vegetation, I found this. <gasps> no way. Is it a fish stick? It's fish thick. It's awesome. I was so focused on creating the landscape, I totally forgot about these tiny details which we have in the map, like this stature <laughs> of Fish Thick, an ancient version of Fish Thick. Let's see if we can place him into the map. Oh, this looks awesome! Now we have the television. And then we are placing some more trees and rocks and bridges and elements like this street for example it's often hardened and we can now paint the edge of the street but also create the stripes right in the middle with the white marker and then stick it really deep into the hills and the mud we have the tiny bridges the connection between these different parts which are going over the river and then the railway I needed a sharper silver marker for that I think it looks nice look at that we can place it and finish the bridge We should glue it together. Now, let's fill in the liquid clay. I'm so excited about this working step. If you are looking for this, you can get it on clayclaim.com. I'll link it down in the description as well. The magic moment has arrived. Let's create the lake and also the river. It's translucent clay. It's liquid clay, which gets transparent after oven hardening screwed it up <laughs> and we can now fill the lake and it should um, be floating into the right directions by itself by, but I'm just helping with the brush also on the river after oven hardening I will also add some transparent polish to that we have some more liquid Lay on the left side here to the railway. Also on the back side of the bridge. And we can put it into the oven. <laughs> Freshly baked! Oh, it's not really that transparent. Let's paint it a little bit blue because it's still a little bit white and it's distracting. Yeah. It may be some reflections of the clouds, but I really like my water to be blue. And with a transparent polish, another barrier which we have to remove. And some further blue color on the water, some transparent polish. Then we have a tiny boat house on the lake. This is the fuel station. Hit the bell, subscribe. Don't miss future map pieces like this one. This is the last building we are placing with a fence around and maybe just some tiny painting elements like the squirreling effect on the water. Some water bubbles. can remove it from the plate and guys I guess that's it ruined reels look at that it's awesome thanks so much guys for staying together with me 
In this clay adventure, we explored the different spots in ruined reels. Have an amazing year 2024. Thanks so much again to CyberGhost VPN for sponsoring today's video. I'll include the link in the description. For you guys, take good care, stay creative and see you soon. Bye.